R Clone is this incredible program that allows you to take Google Drive and get unlimited storage on your local computer as if it was a local NAS machine or something on your network. I discovered R Clone because I have a NAS on my network that is actually filling up. There's like 30 terabytes plus of storage. It's almost full and I don't want to have to buy a new set of hard drives or another NAS or a SAN storage device. I wanted to be able to have bulk storage for really, really cheap and R Clone allows that to happen. Now I'm gonna quickly walk through the process of how to mount a Google Drive on your local Ubuntu machine. And the really cool part about this is if a, with a Google Drive G Suite business account, you can have unlimited storage for 12 bucks a month. And I know that sounds like an ad, but oh my gosh, is that cheap? So first of all, we have to create our R clone mount or our R clone share. And I'm just gonna say R clone config. I assume that R clone is already installed on your computer. We do this and it says, yes, there's no, there's none already existing. So I'm gonna say new remote. I'm gonna call this G drive. And then it says what kind, because our clone supports tons of cloud-based things. I'm actually going to pick Google Drive. So I'm just going to say 13 for Google Drive. And here it says a client string. Now this is something I highly recommend you make your own client string uh, because it's gonna be far more efficient. There's a process for going through. In fact, if you click right there, it'll take you to the process for doing it. Uh, I also have some training on how to do this at CBT Nuggets, but basically we're just gonna select the default for now. So just hit enter and it's going to use the R clone projects credentials. Uh, enter again. Now it says what kind of drive? I want it to be a full access drive to all the stuff on my Google Drive. So I'm just gonna say drive, oop, got a spell it, right? And enter a root folder ID. I want it to have the entire Google Drive that I have. So I'm just going to press enter for the default, which is a blank one. Uh, service account file, no, again, blank. Again, this is really pretty simple. And advanced config, no, I don't need the advanced config. And it says, okay, now do I wanna use auto config? Now I'm on a GUI machine, so I'm gonna say yes. I want it to do automatically, which is just going to start up a web browser for me to authenticate. Now the account I'm going to use is Mr. Bob Nugget. It's going to ask me to log in, I'll do that. Okay, it says it wants to access my account. So I'll allow our clone to do that. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, success. So I can close this browser window now. And it says, do I want a team drive? No, you can configure a team drive if you want to share space, but I'm just going to say no. Is this okay? Yes. Now this is the actual information you would need to use Bob Nuggets drive, but I'm going to uh, disable this as soon as I'm done editing this. So you don't want to necessarily type that in by hand. That'll be a lot of work for very little fruit. So I'm going to say yes to save this account and Q to quit. And now if we do our clone LSG drive, we should see, sure enough, okay, I have a PNG file in my drive right now. So that's really cool. I can have access to it. I can copy back and forth using our clone. But what I wanted to show you is how you can create a mount right on your computer. So let's see what we have here. Okay, let's make a folder, mkdir g drive. All right, now I'm just gonna say our clone. I want this to be daemon. I want it to go into the background. I don't wanna have it keep my command line here. I'm going to say mount g drive with a colon that specifies that's the R clone share and where I want it to go. I want it to go to home Bob G drive, the folder I just created. Oop, I did that wrong. R clone mount and then Damon G drive colon home Bob G drive. And now check this out, LS G drive. Ha, there's my file, but here's the really cool part. DF minus H, check this out. So home Bob G drive, one petabyte of storage that I'm going to be able to use because it's truly unlimited. One petabyte is just what it reports, but I've never been able to fill it up. Although admittedly, I've never been able to fill it up to test it because I don't have that much data. But as you can tell, I have almost 40 terabytes of data stored on my Google Drive accessible directly from the command line, just like locally mounted storage. It's a great alternative to buying a very expensive NAS or SAN or something, especially in a local environment, like a home office or something. I don't know how well it scales, but I can tell you that I can have like 10 people accessing files at the same time. And it seems to work really, really well. Plus it's 
tons and tons of bulk storage for backups and things like that. I think you should give our clone a try. I have more training on how to set things up. You can actually encrypt all of your files. You can encrypt everything on Google Drive. So even if you store sensitive stuff there, Google doesn't actually have access to it. It decrypts in real time. Our clone's awesome. I have some training at CBT Nuggets to do more elaborate things with our clone, but just what we went through today is enough to make you probably want to use our clone for your local server. It's really easy to set up. It's been really robust in the few months that I've been using it. And honestly, there's just not a good reason uh, to not give our clone and Google Drive a try. If you're looking for a way to store a massive amount of data and have access to it on your local computers as if it was a local NAS in your network. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.